After her death, William reportedly inherited a $1 billion estate. The Queen was placed under medical supervision earlier that day, just days after she appointed the new Prime Minister of the UK, Liz Truss. After she passed away, royal protocols immediately got underway. One of the protocols that had to be followed was the reading of Queen Elizabeth II's will. CNN reported that Prince William would inherit the estate worth $1 billion. The estate is 685 years old as of 2022. Prince William is not the only royal that stands to inherit such a vast fortune, though. Other members of the royal family are also likely to inherit large sums from the Queen as the royal family's wealth totals at least $18 billion in land, investment, and property. Prince William is the eldest child of King Charles III and his late wife, Diana, Princess of Wales, who died in 1977. William, who is Queen Elizabeth II's grandchild, is the Prince of Wales and is the husband of Kate Middleton, the new Princess of Wales. He is also the father of Queen Elizabeth's great-grandchildren, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. So what will Prince William inherit from Queen Elizabeth? After Queen Elizabeth's death, Prince William inherited the Duchy of Cornwall, a private estate worth around $1.2 billion. The estate, which belonged to William's father, King Charles, before he took the throne, covers 140,000 acres in the United Kingdom and is used used to fund the public, private and charitable activities of the Duke of Cornwall, the title William inherited after the Queen's death. The Duchy of Cornwall was established in 1337 to financially support the heir to the throne, according to CNN. The Duchy of Cornwall, which will provide the income for Prince William and Kate Middleton, is funded through the ownership and operation of land in rural and urban areas, as well as islands and rental cottages in Wales, Cornwall and other areas in the United Kingdom. In 2018, the Duchy of Cornwall made Charles and Camilla $28 million which is around what William and Kate will make as well. According to CNN, about 50% of Charles and Camilla's annual income was spent on travel and official royal engagements, while a quarter went to taxes. The remaining $8.9 million went to Charles' children with his late wife Princess Diana, Prince William and Prince Harry, as well as non-official purchases and a royal savings account. The Duke of Sussex and is the husband of Meghan Markle the Duchess of Sussex. He is also the younger brother of Prince William and the father of Queen Elizabeth's great-grandchildren, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor and Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor, who is named after the Queen's childhood nickname. So what will Prince Harry inherit from Queen Elizabeth? It's unclear what Harry will inherit from the Queen. There's a very good chance the Queen won't leave either of the many jewels of value, a source said. It's not surprising, since they're not members of the royal family anymore, but it would be a real slap in the face. Meghan's sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, who is set to inherit $110 million in jewellery from the Queen. As for why the Queen left Meghan out of her inheritance, Radar Online's source speculated that it could be due to either practicality or Harry and Meghan's drama with the British royal family in the years leading up to the Queen's death. Some people think it won't be out of spite, but practicality, the insider said. Others say it would be the Queen sending a message to Meghan and Harry, you reap what you sow. The royal family's wills are all kept secret for legal reasons. Some details might be released to the public, but the full extent of a royal's estate will never be public knowledge. Many sources said that the Queen crossed out Sussex's inheritance last minute after their bad behaviors. Since last minute.